Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've been letting you know about the fact that Microsoft had changed the titles of Windows updates to a shorter, more simple format. So as we can see, it previously used to have the date cumulative update for Windows 11 version 25H2, and then you'd get for 64 base systems, the update name, and then the build number. And then they changed it to, as an example, preview update with just the update and the build number. Now, yesterday when I posted regarding the latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11, 24, and 25H2, KB5068861, I'll leave the video linked if you'd like some more information. There was quite a lot going on in that update. I said that Microsoft had still not restored the longer format because I had posted a video previously saying that Microsoft had listened and confirmed that it will restore the month and year format in Windows Update titles. And I said yesterday in the video that they hadn't done that. Now, I must have had a momentary lapse of reason and just a correction they had. And this was actually pointed out to me in the comments today, where we can see clearly 2025-11. So it used to be 2025-10 as an example, and I have restored that, the year and the month. So just a correction on that video. Microsoft has restored the year and the month, which I think is nice. Still keeping the more shorter, simpler format. And I like this new look. I think adding the year and the month back gives you all the information you need without all the clutter. And this can get quite confusing. And I said from the get-go when Microsoft changed the date format and the title format that I preferred the simpler outlay. Now, I did run a poll on the channel. If we just head to that. Where I... Asked the question, after backlash, Microsoft has confirmed that it will restore the month and year format in Windows Update titles. So which format do you think is better? The majority of you, 63% said you prefer the long format with month and year. And that's after 747 votes had been cast. So I personally think that this is a happy medium, not the full long format, but at least we've got the year and the month security update, the KB number, and then the build number, which is basically giving you the information you would need for the update. And I think this is also going to help system admins because a lot of system admins were saying they need the the date to be in the title, which I think at the end of the day does make sense. So correction on that. I must have had a momentary lapse of reason. Microsoft has restored the month and year format in Windows update titles. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.